Hello my little Willie. In today's tutorial you will learn how to knit another great Christmas ornament and this time it's about the mini Christmas hats. I have made two types. One of them is with knitting needles US 7 size and cotton and the other one is made of chunky wool yarn and knitting needles size US 10.5. So you can do them the size you want with the materials you have on hand. This is a perfect project to use your stash and they're really easy to knit, just knit and pull. So grab your needles, a little bit of yarn and let's get started. For this mini hat, I'm using a chunky yarn and the bigger needles, 10.5 US size. For the chunky ones, we have to cast on 16 stitches. And for the thinner yarn, we have to cast on 20 stitches. But not to worry, the instructions are on my website, sewwoolly.net. And there is a link for you below this video on the description box, just below the title of the video. So this one comes in two colors. I'm going to cast on 16 stitches using color A. So first row, wrong side of the work. We're going to purl every stitch. Just purl across the row. And when you get to the last stitch, only on this first row, I like to work it through the back loop. So purl the last one through the back loop. This way we can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, right side of the work, just knit every stitch. Third row, as per row one, purl every stitch. Row four, net every stitch. So now we have this little curling edge for the hat that I love. To stop it from keep on curling, oops, I lost a stitch. We're going to knit every stitch in row five. So the edge is done, now we're going to work with color B. Put color A to the left and behind your knitting work and leave a tail 
with the color B, so we can hide it afterwards. And now we're going to knit every stitch. That's row six. Just knit across the row. Row 7, with color B, we're going to purl every stitch. If you don't want stripes, no problem. Just, for example, knit in one color up to the decreasing and then change the color and make all the decreasing in the second color. Okay, next row, we're going to put color B behind us. Keep a little tuck to all these little tails. And with color A, we are going to knit every stitch. This is row 8. So just knit across the row. Row 9, with color A, just purl every stitch. Okay, now we have two stripes. We're going to repeat these last four rows once more. So now work one stripe in red and one stripe more in white. And I'll see you there. Okay, now we have four stripes, two red, two white. And using color B, we are going to decrease to make the crown of the hat. So net two. Net two together. This is the repeat. Net two. Net two together. Net two. Net two together. And repeat to the end of the row. Ending with net two together. Next row with color, same color, we're going to purl one and purl two together. This is the repeat. Purl one, purl two together. And repeat. Purl one, purl two together. Purl one, purl two together. Next row, the repeat is just net two stitches together across the row. So net two together once, twice, three times, and four times. Four stitches remain. Next row, we're going to purl every stitch. Okay, now we have to cut the yarn, leaving a tail long enough to pass it through the stitches and then join the sides. But we also need to add a little bit to make a loop at the top center 
to hang the, the hat on our Christmas tree. So maybe, so it should be at least eight inches long or 20 centimeters. So thread your tapestry needle and pass it through the four stitches. Pull the yarn and now we have to close this little circle. Leaving the loop, as I said, to hang it on the tree. And now just join both sides, trying to match red with red and white with white. But don't worry too much about the seaming, you know, it's just a little mini hat. Join both sides with the white, and now we have to hide this little tail. It's called weaving the ends. Just pass it through the stitches and try to bring it up. And now we have to hide the red tail. and do the same. I'm using a hook because it's easier, but if you don't have it, no problem. You can use the tapestry needle to do that. And then I just make a double notch. And this is what I do with every little tail, ending with double or triple notch. And that's it. You have your little hat or mini Christmas hat. Do as many as you want using the colors and the models you like. And believe me, it's pretty relaxing. And this is everything for today, my little Willy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting!